and welcome back to MyBibleRegistration.com. We're on lesson number 24 this week, and I'm joined with Sister Sandy. Thank you, audience, for being with us. And as you know, we're doing a wonderful series, and we're talking about this, uh, this year, we're doing I Am That I Am. And today, this lesson is going to be I Am Saved. Mmm, that's going to be a good one, huh, Sandy? I am saved. Now I have that right here. Here we are. So there we go. So Sandy, how would you, because the key word is going to be uh, saved today. So how would you describe that word saved? Okay, so in essence, in the, in the world, world of uh, the Lord, you have an opportunity to be saved. In essence, that means that God forgives you of all your sins because you have confessed that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, that he has died for you on the cross. He was um, risen from the dead and you confess that that is true. And that's your start of your salvation of being saved. And then there's a journey that you take from that point on. So in essence, in the natural, you could be saved from other things like saved from drowning or... You could be saved from uh, uh, something bad happening to you that mm-hmm. someone warns you. That's, right. a, that's a different saved, but this is right. an eternal saved mm. have opportunity when you give your life to Jesus. This is eternal salvation, mm-hmm. you have eternal life. So that's a saving your life in mm-hmm. a whole different manner. Yeah, that's good, Sandy. I like how you you gave a contrast for salvation with jesus but then how people could be saved from drowning uh uh people could be saved from a from a from a murderer or you know they could be saved from a crook trying to get them online you know uh it's a lot of different things but i like the last one you how you explain salvation because it's what eternal i'm saved for eternity eternity and that is, is eternal life so audience the key word that we're going to be looking for today is say so two things who is the scripture talking about and how are they saying what are they talking about being saved okay so we're going to have sandy uh to take us to the first text let's go to psalms 91 verse 6 okay with long life Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? And we that's what we just were talking about, right? Mm-hmm. You have and you will show him your salvation because you will give your life mm-hmm. to Jesus and you will be given a long life and you will have eternal life, which is even beyond the natural life, but mm-hmm. the eternal life, a so long, long life for salvation. Exactly. You know, I love Psalms 91. A lot of people don't know this, but Moses wrote this psalm. And if anybody knew about salvation, wouldn't it be Moses? Isn't that what he did for the children of Israel? God uses used Moses to save his people out of uh, the land of Egypt. He brought them through the Red Sea. That was all, I think you said it earlier, Sandy, you said it was a process. So when he brought them through the wilderness, that was their salvation process. Mm-hmm. See, that was that was going through it. That they had to go through that. And so Moses was a savior. Mm-hmm. And so I, I love how he did this because Moses lived to be 120 years old. Right. And he said, with long life, will I satisfy him? And he did satisfy God. Now he didn't make it to the promised land, but he did satisfy God to get the Israelites to where they needed to be at that point. Mm-hmm. And and, and by God not letting Moses enter the promised land, it still didn't diminish Moses' uh, salvation. He still was saved for eternal uh, life for all that he did. Right. Talk about, I am saved. So here Moses is saved, isn't he? Right. And he wasn't a young man. He was an older man. Yeah. He did all this. He brought these people through this mm-hmm. wilderness. That's right. Age. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and, oh, this is another good point about Moses. Remember when he was a baby and his mother put him in that basket? Right. And put him in that water? Right. What did Pharaoh daughter do? She saved, saved him, him, didn't she? 
She drew him out of that water and he could say, I am saved because Moses could have been killed because they was killing them babies, but he was what? Saved. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cindy, let's take a look. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Did you want to make another comment? Moses oh, okay. was one of the most special people in the Bible. Uh-huh. Yeah. Exactly. Let's go to Psalms, Sandy, and audience. Psalms 18. And we and Minister Love, I'm going to read verse 3. Psalms 18, verse 3. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. Here is David, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now we got David going to the Lord, got a relationship with the Lord. And who is David trusting that's going to save him? The Lord, huh? Lord, right, from Saul. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So, so David is, is, is letting us know. What did he say? He says, the Lord is worthy to be praised. You know what? When Jesus died on that cross and rose from the dead, that I have eternal life, that's worthy of praise. We should be praising him all the time because right. he saved us from right. eternal hell. Right. Every morning, that's why it says, this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall what? Rejoice be and be, be glad. glad. You ought to be because he saved you. He did the ultimate sacrifice. His sure did. And he died for us. Yes, and he did. All our sin. Mm -hmm. All of them. All of them. He and, and took them and threw them in the, in the sea of forgetfulness right. to save us. Wow. This is a good scripture. And, and notice what he said, to be saved from his what? Enemies. Enemies. Mm -hmm. We had a show about enemies. Didn't we say them? Then we talked about my enemies. That's right. Okay, then. Hey, listen, let's take a look at the next text. Sandy's going to close us out on John. John chapter three, everyone. And she's going to read verse 17. Verse 17. Uh-huh. All right. This is Jesus speaking. Mm -hmm. For God sent not his son unto the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And we were just talking about that. That Jesus, <laughs> God, it seems pretty good. Confirmation scripture. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so God sent his son to die on the cross for all of us to be saved all our sins to be forgiven mm -hmm. and um he didn't he came here not to condemn the world but to save us in the world you know could it could have just said forget the human race forget it i'm sick and tired of them right mm -hmm. and take them out no he mm -hmm. gave that ultimate sacrifice he gave his son who mm -hmm. died for us that we might be saved and then it's our choice that we would then seek him out and give uh, him our lives and tell him that we wish to be saved. And then we could do our path. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really, really simple, but people make it so hard. They think the world is better than, than God's way. And eventually a lot of folks do come to the Lord, but mm -hmm. a, lot don't. a lot will be lost. You know? right. That's our hope why we're out here every day, putting these videos out that, you won't be lost that you'll find him through these videos and other people that are doing the same work and not be lost when the time comes the end comes mm -hmm. yeah i love this sandy uh what jesus did he said what i didn't come i didn't come to condemn you he didn't come to say sandy you did this and i don't like what you did you did this remember when you did that carol you did this you did it. yeah i saw you i saw you do he didn't come to already look you already know what i did Right. So why why would he come and want to beat me up about it? His job was to come save me from it. So right. I wouldn't have to live that life for the rest of my life. Right. So Jesus is a loving Jesus. He didn't come to condemn, no matter what, what your situation is. I don't care uh, if you're poor, rich, straight, gay, uh, 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 wicked, or uh, immoral. He came for all of that. He came to save us from all, everything. He loves us all. He saved all of us. See, that's why we can't be so quick to judge folks. We can't be too quick to want to condemn folks because if Jesus didn't condemn them, why do I condemn you? Right. My job is just to share the gospel. Right. 
So you can be what? Like that last lesson, be spiritually minded. See? That's it. All right, then. Wow. Another great lesson, Miss Sandy. Okay, then. So audience, thank you for joining us once again. And uh, we just want to share with you what other great uh, lessons and websites that Sister Sandy and I are doing. And Sandy, share with them this website. Okay, SourceOutreachMinistries.com, online ministry, and we also are doing a, a series on the Bible numbers, about what their meanings are in the Bible. It's really good. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we also have Block Coup. Uh, ministries where we're Bible lovers achieving Christ's knowledge, understanding the wisdom. We're doing a series over there called What Time Is It? So you don't want to miss that as well. Sandy, what about this one? I tell you, look, we, we got a lot going on, don't we? <laughs> tell them a about lot. this lesson. More, yes. than, more than what we're saying today, other channels we belong to. But yeah, the YouTube channel is the Bible Talk show we have created. It mm -hmm. has over 600 videos, Bible lessons on different topics in the Bible for you to study. And also Gina and Blaku has two series out there, the Spiritual Warfare and Simplicity series on learning the Bible simply. So for the people who are just starting out, she, she will help you in different parts of the Bible. So check us out, subscribe to us, help us to reach our goals yes. and to give praise to God for everything that we do for him, that he will be happy and glad that uh, people are watching what, what he has helped us to make. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amen. Well, all right then, everyone. That's going to do it for us on this episode. You don't want to miss next week. We got another great lesson talking about I am that I am. All right then. God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.